In a sign of growing concerns about the China-owned app TikTok, U.S. lawmakers grill company CEO Xu Zichu in a congressional hearing as White House seeks a ban on the app. U.S. lawmakers held a four-hour long congressional hearing to look into the possible national security, child mental health, and other privacy concerns about the TikTok app. The development comes at a time when the Biden administration is mulling a possible ban on China-based ByteDance app TikTok. TikTok, a short video platform, has become one of the leading social media apps, with 150 million in the U.S. and over a billion users worldwide. The hearing was seen as a chance by observers in the U.S. to provide platform and opportunity to allay some of these pressing concerns. Despite assurances in the opening statement of Xu Zichu, the company is feared to provide access of U.S. citizens' data to Chinese authorities and government. The hearing saw a push by Republican Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers urging the platform to be banned in what she believes the app is a weapon by the Chinese Communist Party to spy on and manipulate Americans. While Democratic Representative Frank Pallone raised concerns about the platform's algorithms exposing teens to content that exacerbate feelings of emotional distress, including videos promoting suicide, self-harm, and eating disorders. Similarly, Representative Gus Bilirakis of Florida also derided the company for exposing children to content encouraging self-harm. TikTok, on the other hand, has launched additional safeguards to place a 60-minute default for daily time limit, especially for those under the age of 18. Yet, representatives criticized the feature for being easily bypassed by teenagers. For its part, the company has claimed to launch Project Texas attempting to move and store data of U.S. citizens within its borders on servers owned by U.S.-based company Oracle. The system would also be open to third-party oversight on access to data and algorithm recommendations. Yet the committee has found a bipartisan consensus and remains unrelenting on its concerns of national security and privacy concerns. TikTok has also launched Project Clover, to address concerns of EU regulators for citizens across the Atlantic. Recently, the governments in the US, Canada, France, the UK, the EU Commission, and the BBC have asked staff to not use TikTok on government devices for concerns of national security. Others in the US media have underscored calls for introducing privacy legislation to regulate use of user data by tech platforms and for children's online safety laws, especially given the fears that content related to suicide, drugs, and those encouraging eating disorders get pushed on the platform. While many of these ethical and regulation concerns are not unique to TikTok only, lack of legislation on content moderation leaves it up to the unilateral actions and resources of platforms to deal with. For now, much remains to be desired for dealing with issues of privacy and data protection by platforms, irrespective of their origin. But for TikTok, difficult days ahead remain obvious in the US. I'm Osama Nizamani, and this was your Daily Dispatch.